Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls are doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box for all the nice links. Also drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. Uh, so here we go. We got um, we got our GUI and stuff is happening. Now I said in the last video I was going to add some stuff to button to make it a little easier for us in life. So basically I'm going to do that. I'm just going to go in a button. And I'm going to add a few things that I, I think are important. So we got a button state. And I'm going to make a short unsigned ID. Okay. Now you don't have to have an ID. But um, you can use an ID for, for a button if you want to. To get back to see what kind of button it was. Okay, what the index is or whatever. It's just a helper thing for you. And we're going to use it uh, in our setting state. So this ID, basically I'm going to put it um, put it way at the bottom. Uh, ID short un, unsigned unsigned what the hell unsigned ID equals zero so if it's zero is zero it doesn't really matter um, but we're going to use it as a helper thing for us uh, also i'm going to add a bunch of colors so i'm just going to copy all of these colors actually first of all i'm going to copy these colors and i'm going to do this and i'm going to just say outline idle color uh, and then i'm going to copy the outline part and just paste that before all of these and set a capital up here uh, for these letters right there um, and then I'm going to do the same thing outline underscore just copy the outline underscore set it right here okay in front of all of these colors all right so this is basically the text title color this is the outline idle color um, and what am I doing wait no don't do that uh, basically no, you don't want that. You want to copy this first because that is the text and color and this will be the um, outline. There we go. Outline idle color. So we're working with two things today, the ID and the colors, extra colors here. And these are at the end because, whoops, what am I doing? Uh, these are at the end because we want to give them default values. SF color transparent. So all the outline is pretty much going to be transparent um, from the beginning. Now this is going to be a really long line here of code, but it's necessary. So all of these are transparent and the unsigned ID is zero. Okay. So just copy the new, all the new stuff we made here and we're going to put it in the GUI.CPP file in the button constructor right after here. Just put it right there and remove the default values because they're in the H file. You don't want to redefine those. Uh, just do that. Okay. So once you got those, um, pretty much everything will be fine. But in state this ID equals ID. And then we're going to have to set all the idle colors. So just copy this, paste it. And then we're going to do the same thing. Out line idle color. And I'm just going to copy the outline part, paste it, and then change the first thing here. And also the outline underscore here, copy that, and just paste it in front of all of these. So then we'll have all the outline colors and everything. Everything should be fine. Uh, and then we'll go to shape. I'll say this shape.set outline thickness to 1.f. And then we'll say this shape.set outline color. Uh, outline color idle. So we'll just default it to the outline color idle or idle color. Idle color. There you go. So that's defaulted. That's fine. Um, and we saved all the colors here. So now the tedious part comes where we're going to go down here and we're going to have to do copy this and just paste it at the bottom. And we're going to say this shape, instead of set fill color, out, set outline color, this outline 
idle color. And now I'm just going to copy paste this down here in all of these, uh, even the default. But in default, I'm going to say SF color green as a error color for the outline. And then this is going to be instead of idle, it's going to be active. And this, the one above is going to be uh, hover. Okay, so I got three different colors here I can pick and set the outline color for. And once we do that, we're pretty much done. So it doesn't really matter. Now we have an outline functionality and an ID functionality for our buttons. Now most of our buttons are going to have ID zero, no real ID. Uh, it won't really matter what what happens. But a good way, a good thing with ID for us is we can get an ID back. For example, the ID can hold the index of the button in any certain array, and we can just get it back through this uh, through this get ID function, which I'm going to create right now. Uh, in button so we got the public accessors right here so const short unsigned reference uh, get id const and i'm going to define this so basically it can get the id back for us and then we can check is the id or get the id back and do something with that index value uh, and that's exactly what we're going to see so I'm sorry if it's a little vague, it's a little weird, but don't worry, I promise you it'll all, it'll all sink in. So we have this little ID thing, which we can use now. Go into uh, GUI.CPP, go all the way down to drop down list. And here we go. So here's where we're gonna use it. The active element, I'm gonna actually have some colors for the, for the uh, outlines. So I'm gonna put them here. And I'm going to say my outline colors are pretty much going to be white almost all the time. Um, and not the same color as that, preferably. And maybe I'm going to darken this up a little bit. 150, uh, 250 there. So this is cool. This can be the same. Uh, this will be 255. Um, Hmm, 255, 255, 255. So it'll always be 50, kind of 50 wider um, than whatever is going on there. So it's something, you know, we'll just, we'll just keep that. And all of these, they won't have any outlines. So that's cool. Doesn't really matter. But here, the important part is going to be, well, actually, they need outlines because we need the ID. So the ID, so I'm just going to copy all these outlines, but I'm going to set the transparency to zero since we don't want these outlines to show. And then the ID at the end is going to be I. Okay, this is the ID. Now you can't really see that. It's maybe hard to see, but I'll save the index of this button in this list. Okay. As a ID in here. So whenever I do get ID from any of these buttons in the list, I'll get the ID back. Okay, I press this button. The ID of it is uh, two, so it is in the index two of this this list, and we'll have a parallel list of va values like maybe resolutions. We'll say I press the button two with the ID two. Okay, I'm gonna get the resolution at index two from this other list, and I'm gonna assign that index. So basically, that's what I'm going to do. Um, now, once we have that done, first of all, I want to just see um, what the hell is going on. Okay, I'm setting the text. Also, what we need to do is go to your GUI.h, go to modifiers and say void set ID const un short unsigned unsigned ID like that. Um, just call it ID like that uh, and then define this and we're gonna just set the ID so this ID equals ID boom easy peasy that's all we're gonna do we need that because when we set when we're setting 
go back down to wherever it was. Was it here? Yeah, we're setting the text. We also need to set the active elements ID to whatever we clicked on. So this active element set ID, I get ID. Okay. So once you do that, we'll get the ID, we'll set the active elements ID to whatever it was. And there we have it, a selected option with a index of where that is in another list. So it will all make sense, but just make sure that works for you right now. Uh, and let's run this. Uh, just make sure it doesn't crash. And then we're gonna add a, another button before we, before we end it. From size T to unsigned short. Okay, I understand. We'll fix that as well. Okay, let's just make sure it doesn't crash. Uh, settings. Okay, now you can see this little outline thing I have around it, uh, which looks pretty cool, I guess. It looks okay. You can have whatever you want here. You don't have to have the outline, but I, I kind of like it, so I'll keep it. Uh, quit. Now, before I end this video, I'm just going to add a button to my setting state, and I'm going to go into init GY, and I'm going to copy this exit state button, and I'm going to call it apply uh, and I'll actually call this back because that makes more sense uh, back apply and it's gonna be the same it's just gonna be maybe a hundred more to the left of whatever this is this can be a thousand away this can be 800 so it'll look pretty okay um, uh, and then we will have or will that look okay? I'm not sure. I just should be. Yeah, it, it should be okay. It should be maybe down to the right almost. So 1,900, 1,700. Maybe this will be 1,500. Okay, we'll leave it at that. It looks pretty okay. Um, and then 250, 250. Okay, all these colors are fine. It just says something different. Back, setting state. Let's go to update GUI. And here you gotta switch this to back. Uh, and then I'm going to copy this whole back thing. And I'm gonna say apply selected settings. Okay, I'm just gonna remove that. Apply like this. And pretty much, pretty much. Then we're gonna make a little message box that pops up. Settings applied, you can press OK on it and that will quit. And that will do in GUI as well. So all these small things we can add to our game, just practice on how to make GUIs. I hope you're following through on all of these and it's not too complicated. Look at the code, try to try to see what's going on really and follow, watch the videos again, try to understand what's going on. That will really help you out. Uh, so once we do that, let's go back into the drop down list. No, that's fine. I just, just wanted to add the apply button actually. Let's just see if it's in the correct position and then we'll go on to the next video most probably. So settings, apply back. Okay, they need to be a little more over here, but that works. Uh, back still works. Okay, so let me just set that to uh, 100 more backwards. Uh, 400, maybe even 300, 500 right there. So that'll look a little better, I think. We'll keep it like that. And then, yeah, thank you so much for watching for now. I hope you learned something. hope this was cool, working with the GUI stuff. Um, we'll get back to game programming soon, uh, as soon as we get some of these options working. And we'll go back into the editor state and start working with that. Uh, but thank you so much for watching. Just take care. Keep working hard. Check out the description box. And I'll see you guys and girls in the next one, all right? Bye-bye.